Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we will be painting these flowers and I think they are also fall flowers. I have them in my vase right now. Those are some sort of roses and they bloom in spring and also in fall so why not they're fall flowers and I took inspiration from those in my vase. They are here for a long time so probably dying out somehow but I still do love them and I decided to paint them. I will be using some colors I've mixed myself and made myself. Also I will be using this mop brush and you will be needing two jars of water, one for cleaning and one for rinsing your brush. I've also made a composition for myself. I'm going to paint a larger flower, a bud and some leaves and that is it, nothing difficult. And I'm starting off with this yellow mix, yellow color and I took a lot of water in my brush so that paint is saturated but there is a lot of water in my brush. I do want that to be quite watery and I started with making the center of the flower and also going downwards to the part of the flower that are going to be where that is where the stem is and also afterwards I took this pinkish color and going here and there adding that pigment again tipping uh, with the top of my with the tip of my brush I'm tipping on the paper and just also adding some color around the center but mostly in the part in the middle part and downwards to the root of the flower and then I will add a little bit of petals downwards those are probably not really realistic but I'm not trying to paint a realistic flower so I've added a couple of petals downwards, thin, very thin, maybe some residue of a petal and then picked up quite saturated straight from my palette this earthy red color and added it again here and there just to make the well the most texture more texture to my flower and a little bit more of the interest and still again I'm using the tip of my brush and adding color here and there. Since that is a mop brush it takes a lot of paint, a lot of water in it so I've decided also to use a little bit smaller brush to add on some details. I will be also adding a bit more details, details later on but we'll get to that. And then I moved on to painting the bud and started the same way. I took uh, that yellow color in my mobile brush and painted some lines just making the shape of that of that bud and then adding a little bit of that pink color and again that quite saturated red color and then I decided to pick up a little bit of the paint my paint is still wet on my flower and I'm using just a clean brush to pick up that paint and to add a little bit more highlights to my flowers and then with brown color I'm adding in the stems and they are quite easy to do and my flowers are still wet so somewhat some paint is also bleeding into the flower but that is quite fine and then with the tip of the brush I'm painting in those little small small leaves that are just beneath the flowers and then first I'm using that brown and then mix uh, that I made for green using blue and yellow and then painted in those small quite small leaves and then also added a little bit of that green color to my stems. Now I'm using quite dark brown color and detail brush to add in a little bit more of the details to those smaller leaves and also to the stem just stopping in the color painting nothing in particular but here with this painting we're just letting the eye do all the things so we're just doing the doing the impressions and letting the eye to and my our brain to to make a complete picture or a complete painting and then I've used again that mop brush to paint in the leaves very quite simple again just using the tip of my brush pressing then harder with the belly of my brush and picking up the brush and finishing off with the tip of the brush just to paint in the leaves with that mix that I made for green and then adding a little bit of yellow here and there to the flowers and well to the leaves and while they are still wet I'm painting in the stems and as you can see the, they are completely bleeding into my 
into my leaves and that is exactly what I want. I do want that part to be a little bit darker, adding a couple of grasses, centers of the flowers and as I said earlier that we will be adding a little bit more details to our flowers. If you're satisfied with how your flowers is looking you don't have to add any details but if not if you do want to add a little bit more of the highlights or a little bit more of the shadows go ahead and do that. Also I'm sprinkling now a little bit of the paint just adding a couple of sprinkles I think that adds just that little final touch to our painting and then on top of them I've added just sprinkles with clean water just to smudge all of those sprinkles not to make them perfectly but just when the paint dries they will be quite you know not even and then adding a little bit of those spikes to our rows and with that I'll be finishing off this painting and of course this video I think this is quite simple a lot of you have been asking me to paint a rose so I guess this is my vision of the rose there are lots of ways to paint a rose and I guess I wanted to show you this one that is very 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 simple and very easy I think anyone can do that and if you do like this video please hit the like button share it comment and if you haven't still, please subscribe to my channel. That would mean a lot to me. Also consider joining my channel. You can press that join button next to the subscribe, listen to the offer and then decide. And again, thank you so much for watching this video. And I hope I'll see you next time. Bye.